Yeah, one of the problems with coming out of the pandemic is you have overly aggressive squirrels. These guys are on the warpath. They're not afraid of anything. Well, you know, maybe they shouldn't be afraid. Maybe we should all be bold and adventurous and believe in ourselves. Look at this tree. This is a monstrosity. It's right here outside my apartment in the Bronx. Okay, I had to put my mask on for safe, uh, what do you call it? Airborne uh, vapor molecules that potentially contain COVID-19. It's not a joke, people. Let's work together on this one until further notice. So the squirrels feel emboldened and this tree, this ancient tree makes me very happy. That ancient tree is like master musicians. When you have a chance and it's a, you should thank your lucky stars. When you have a chance to be in, a, in the presence of a real master musician, number one, you shouldn't be fearful in terms of asking them a question. I've never met a great musician that wouldn't respond to someone if the person who posed the question or the request for help was ob obviously pure of heart and curious, not trying to be smarmy and the little prick. Most of the great musicians I've met are perfectly willing to share what they know with you. That's verbal. You know, they'll show you what to do without speaking if you stand next to them on the bandstand. There are different degrees of master musicians. I used to talk with Harold Mayburn, and we said that, and Joe Farnsworth, we said that musicians who were, as we like to say, touched by bird had an extra battery pack inside their bodies. That just means people that were around him got to see him live, got to be within the six foot non-safety social distancing zone of bird and hear him play perhaps even hear what he had to say anytime i've listened to that man you know recordings are preserved he's he's erudite he chooses his words very carefully he speaks the truth at least you know some people like to say i speak my truth and it's very empowering well when you have somebody like charlie parker it's probably as close to the truth as you're gonna find. We can agree there's no such thing as the truth, but some people get close. So people that were touched by Bird, I, I had the good fortune of playing with Cecil Payne and he used to sleep on my couch when he'd come to New York. I had the good fortune of playing with John Orr, who was Lester Young's favorite bass player, as far as I remember, and played with Thelonious Monk on all those classic recordings and in his group for years. I played with, well, we'll talk about someone touched by a bird, the great alto saxophone player John Jenkins. I didn't really play with him, I just got to be around him while he was playing. And this guy, he made a lifetime study of playing the Omni book, paid off too. I got a chance to be around Jackie McLean. Jackie McLean told me, keep stealing everything you can and don't look back. A chance to be a course around George Coleman and you know people like Jimmy Heath I got to tour with McCoy Tyner these people didn't have a lot to say in terms of flowery language and long-winded descriptive sentences they would usually give you some advice that was almost the equivalent of a magic bullet very quickly and then they would move on I think that's how they dealt with life you know particularly in this country when they grew up they didn't have time to sit around waiting for people to understand them. They came up with something and they moved on constantly. I think that's part of the reason they're so great. You know, sometimes out of struggle comes brilliance and uh, peace. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Cecil Payne, he said, when I asked him, how do you try to find your own voice or your own style? He said, write a tune. That's all he said. It's true. Pat Martino said, I don't even think the guitar, I don't think much of the guitar. It's like a household appliance. I know how to use it. McCoy Tyner said that he learned more from John than anyone because John wanted him to play as, until he ran out of all of his ideas every night on every song. 
Harold Mayburn said when people are comping for you, they should play more when you play less and vice versa. On and on and on. Being around master musicians is a blessing. And I don't use that term loosely. And if you have a chance to be around people that are connected to the great masters, they have extra juice, seek out their advice.